is. Uh, we uh, were long told that it wasn't a finishing side with the pace at which it's being implemented. What is important uh, is that we properly uh, diagnose these um, economic headwinds uh, that the country is facing. If you look at, and from my view, uh, if you look at the data, um, clearly um, we are challenged by what's going on in China, uh, it's, it's a slowing economy and um, the evaluation of its currency. Um, we're obviously challenged by the prospect of uh, higher uh, US interest rates uh, and uh, the significant drop in commodity prices. So if you look at it, uh, many, many countries uh, are being challenged by this. Uh, and you know, there's some countries that are facing even sterner um, challenges than Malaysia, uh, given the complexion uh, of their economies. Uh, so some economies that are even more dependent on, on oil, for instance, uh, are facing uh, more severe challenges. That's one. However, when you look at the um, more recent um, data, uh, then one is surprised uh, by the extent uh, or, or the pace of um, the fall in the ringgit, uh, as well as the um, widening um, CDS spreads uh, on, on for Malaysia uh, for the Malaysia credit. I mean, today I'm a little bit concerned that uh, if you look at both uh, those uh, data points, uh, the ringgit. Uh, plus the CDS spreads, uh, they are um, you know, way beyond uh, fundamental values. Um, our research uh, analysts think that on a trade-weighted basis, uh, the ringgit, uh, on a relative basis, the ringgit should be circa 370 or so. Uh, so there seems to be uh, a clear, uh, some indication that the um, you know, sentiment is playing a part uh, in terms of uh, where uh, some of those um, um, prices are and this is of course uh, a concern um, but you know as with any economic situation what is uh, crucial is we get it diagnosed properly uh, so that you then handle it uh, with the right uh, set of policy measures so I'm very pleased that the uh, uh, Minister of Finance the Prime Minister uh, is uh, going through a process of engaging uh, a cross-section uh, of uh, the community, uh, most particularly analysts uh, and uh, uh, businessmen, uh, to get uh, their perspective uh, of uh, the economic situation. Yeah, so that he hears um, uh, lots of uh, different views uh, and then can make his uh, own assessment uh, in terms of what needs to be uh, done. Uh, we need to diagnose properly, uh, and we need to then come up with the uh, sensible uh, responses. Um, at the same time, I think it's important uh, to keep the um, right perspectives of things. Uh, it's very dangerous uh, when people uh, are too flippant uh, in terms of uh, commenting uh, on what's going on. I mean, I think um, you know this, this this suggestion that there is some economic sabotage. Uh, I think that's not a very useful. Uh, way of uh, analyzing the situation. Uh, I think that just, um, you know, I think that just uh, uh, um, uh, turns people off. Uh, I think it will, uh, you know, it's kind of create, it, it will create a climate of um, fear so people uh, get apprehensive about speaking up. But yet at the same time, uh, we want people uh, to tell uh, or speak up to the Prime Minister and tell him you know, what uh, they see in terms of what's going on on the ground uh, with the economy so the Prime Minister can uh, actually handle um, uh, or, or, or respond correctly. So if you go around saying that there's economic sabotage, people will get scared about telling the truth. Yeah, if people don't tell the truth, then we might not have the right uh, uh, prescriptions. Yeah, if you tell the Prime Minister uh, that there's a different, the, the wrong illness, uh, then, uh, you know, we will not have uh, uh, the right medication. Um, I think that, you know, you, you, you appreciate that in a very open uh, economy, open market like ours, um, you know, we, we have investors from all over the world, right? Uh, 
and many of these people are far away uh, and when they hear of um, um, some of the uh, ongoings uh, in the Malaysian uh, uh, political scene, um, they, they take the view that, you know, why do they need to get involved? They go to another country. Uh, so you have this uh, exodus of, of capital uh, and that can cause the ringgit to uh, uh, you know, overshoot uh, in terms of uh, uh, its uh, uh, lowering value. But if you look at the fundamentals, uh, there is justification for the ringgit to um, you know, to decline, yeah, for sure. Just like many, many currencies uh, based the US dollar. Some quarters are calling you to play a bigger role, perhaps, in the finance. What do you think? No, no, I'm a retired banker. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, chairman of CIMB. I'm very happy doing that. Uh, I will give my views uh, as I have always done. What I gather, um, you know, there's been some comment from um, my um, investors yeah, that they are concerned about um, the um, institutions. Yeah, as I've said uh, in, 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 in uh, various other occasions, that um, the sanctity of our institutions is fundamental to this country. Uh, we have always been um, marketing Malaysia. Uh, as a country with very, very strong, well-functioning institutions. Uh, that's the bedrock uh, of this nation. Uh, and I think, you know, recent events have uh, cast some doubt uh, about that in the minds of uh, the international community. Uh, and it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, imperative uh, that, you know, uh, as part of this whole issue of having our currency and, our, uh, and, and, and so on traded at the uh, fair value, uh, it's imperative that you know we, we address uh, those uh, uh, perceptions or negative perceptions of, of our institution. Actually, um, Governor Zeti has said no to bringing the ringgit. What's your take on it? Do you comfortable? No, no, I always agree with the governor. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 that's, that's her view, uh, and I would support that view. Um, I think the, if you look at the data today, uh, this 97, 98. You know, certainly, uh, you, you they, they're nowhere near those extremes in terms of uh, movements of of uh, uh, prices, etc. Uh, and I think that um, you know this the, the present uh, situation, as I said, uh, must be properly diagnosed uh, and measures taken to you know, that are correct for this uh, situation. Uh, don't 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 go and use the wrong medication. That's very dangerous. There were concerns. Investors as well as, as to the leakages of uh, personal information in data by the banks. Uh, would you call for stricter regulations in regards to personal data and information account details being uh, exposed? I mean, certainly, I think you know, um, uh, personal uh, uh, data and 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 and. and uh, investigation information etc uh, are certainly uh, should be kept uh, private uh, and not be subject to leaks and so on and so forth and certainly I mean that's that's a basic fact right uh, you put yourself in that position you wouldn't want uh, to be um, you know, to have information uh, about you know how uh, uh, investigations leaked out yeah, but this has led to uh, according to some of the analysts it has also led to the credibility of the entire banking system. Hmm? About the credibility of the banking system. No, I wouldn't agree with that. I mean, those are these are these are. Um, um, this is not uh, about the banking system as a whole. Uh, this is uh, investigations that are unfortunately done. Um, you know, in in, in outside. Uh, I think the the, the, the normal banking system. Uh, normally everything happens within the banking system but now I think these investigations have gone to um, involve many 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 people so it's, 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 it's I wouldn't I think it would be wrong to say that uh, uh, this is anything to do uh, with the uh, integrity of the banking system do you think the Prime Minister should step down at least as finance minister in order to shore up confidence we don't want to answer that you can you please answer that do you think so because the rally is calling for his resignation mm -hmm. I mean the rally 
Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, we all know it's a big one coming. Do you, do you think the Prime Minister should step down? That will help to shore up confidence, to restore the ringgit. Do you think that That's helps? That's not a serious question. I mean, is, is, you can give a, a different response. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> all right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Good try. <laughs>